Okay, in this video we want to go through and actually replicate our picking up and dropping of actors. So, uh, of course, it's doing that little weird bug thing. There we go. Up some. So here I have the client on the left and server on the right. So the server can pick up objects, but let me go on the client here. Pick it up. No. Nothing happens. It's just not working. But if I go to the server, pick it up. So you can see it works, and I can throw it. So that all is, you know, working just fine, but not for the client. So we want to set up a way to simply replicate this, and we can also go through and move pretty much all of this code into a single function. So what we're going to do is create a single function for this. I'm going to do void handle grip, or handle gripping, and then I want it to take in the controller. So what the controller is derived from is, let's see, you grip motion controller component. So you grip motion controller component and call it motion controller. Do these have component? No, they do not. So we're just going to call it motion controller. Generate the implementation and copy everything that's inside of grip right or grip left and paste it in there. Then we change right motion controller with motion controller and that handles the dropping and same thing down here now we just have to deal with the uh, which one do we get the overlap for so what we can do is we can simply do basically a uh, what do you call it well no we can't cast it because it's gonna be the same type so what we can actually let's check the motion controller let's see is there a way to dictate which hand we're on Get hand type, e controller hand. Let's check that. Put something. Yes, it does. So, wait, what was it? E hand. No, e controller hand. Current hand. Pass that in. Then let's see. E controller. What do we have? Gun, left, right. Okay, so that's what we want. So let's do a switch on current and. And let's do case E controller and left. What we do is we do this and then we break. And let's change this from right to left and then case E controller hand right. We do the exact same thing, but with the right hand and we break. So this should allow us to store what we need inside of overlapping actors based upon the hand at which the controller is set to. So left or right. So if I open up the character, for example, Click on the left uh, left motion controller, scroll down a bit, motion source is left, click on the right motion controller, motion source is right. So as you can see, there's just a huge list here. So we should be able to get, you know, what we want from that. So let's uh, set it up and call it. So grip right, we call handle gripping, and we pass in the right motion controller. And for grip left, all handle gripping, and we pass in the left motion controller. What in the world did I click? Okay, now let's give ourselves a recompile and see what happens. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure this works right. Grip it, and it does. And obviously it's not simulating physics, I have it set, so I grip it, and it works. So we can you know, all the same like before, except we have it moved into one function. So that's great. Now what we need to do is perform this on the server. So what we're going to do is create a server RPC. So you function, server, it's going to be reliable, and with validation. We want to make sure that the server grabs it when we try to grab it. Even though it's going to be a little slower because it's reliable, it, eh, I don't really know. Eh, screw it. Anyways, void server underscore grip. 
Uh, let's do grip actor or just grip. Um, we'll do grip actor, I guess. Then we want to take in a motion controller. So we want to take in a U grip motion controller component. Call it motion controller and generate the implementation. Now, if you're on Visual Studio, I don't think it'll do this for you, but basically what you need is an underscore validate and an underscore implementation. So that way, uh, basically, if you watch any of my other videos, you will understand this as to why, so I'm not gonna bother explaining it, but for validate, obviously we're just gonna return true. And for the implementation, let's think about what we can do. So basically we can simply call handle gripping and pass in the motion controller or we could go back to grip left and grip right depending on a switch like we would do here but the simplest route is going to be just handle gripping and we pass in motion controller but we want to only want to do it if motion controller is valid so if the motion controller is valid let me close down the editor we want to call handle gripping and that should take care of actually going through gripping and dropping objects for us as well as handling all of the replication because obviously that's a lot of it's done already for us so let's just kind of see what happens you don't want you what in the world or you have so many okay set it to two hit play so client walks up pick it up Okay, so we're having an issue there, and I just realized something very stupid. Mostly in the terms of we are not actually calling it. So on the grip lift, so if has authority, we call handle gripping. Else, we simply call server underscore grip actor and pass in left motion controller. So for grip right, same thing, just replace left motion controller with right, like that. So we are, yeah, doing the same thing, just with our authority checking. Ugh. So let's see where we are at. Alrighty, let's give it a try. And I realized the, there's like a weird spawning issue that every once in a while happens. I don't know why. But here we have the client. Let's move over to it. Pick it up. As you can see, we picked it up and it is replicating. I let it go and it lets go. So again, let's go to the server, try to reach. And we pick it up. So now I'm kind of care. Well, I can't really do a test. But can I? Nope. That. So just found a bug. That That's a neat one. And fun. Okay. So basically we can't really switch hands that way. It uh I don't even know what actually happened then. Let me let me try it again. So grab it with the left, pick it up with the right. It breaks out. So most likely it's uh we're kinda like attaching it to our actually we might be attaching this to ourselves. Yes we are. So what we're doing is we are attaching grip actor where we have this, where is it, right here. We are attaching it to essentially, like literally ourselves. So, for grip actor, if actor, so we have a problem here, and I forgot to replace this, so where we have the if actor check, we used to have an if actor is equal to ourselves, then we wouldn't run this, so we're gonna re-add that, so if actor and actor does not equal this so that makes it so we cannot uh grab ourselves so that was the issue that we had you know a couple of videos ago and that reintroduced itself from this issue so what i thought was happening was actually this but this should fix it so when i move my right controller into the left one I click it nothing happens so now i can just pick it up and i can no longer pick that up so everything is working just like it was uh, before properly. So, 
we now have our picking up and dropping of objects replicated. So that's good. Uh, there's not really much else that I can think of off the top of my head for this video. So I think that covers just about it. So when we try to grip, we check if we're at the server. If we are, we go ahead and call handle grip, which obviously if we are holding an actor, we drop it. If we are not, we pick one up. And if we are not the server, we go to the server like so. And then we go and call handle gripping from the server this time. And we, you know, make the replication happen because that is taking care of it behind the scenes and we don't have to touch it. It's the best part about using an engine like Unreal. We get to be lazy. I guess it's kind of a drawback. Uh, depends on who you ask. And my mouse has actually been working today, which is very odd. It kind of sucks at the same time because I ordered one last night to replace this. Anyhow, enough rambling. I'm I'm really freaking bored. So if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below, where I have a team deathmatch series along with a couple other features in that series and i'm really screwing this outro up like uh weapon customization and customized spawning as well as you get early access to my videos if you like what i'm doing when you help support me you can also find a link to my discord server down there with it and i'll try to help you out so i'll see you in the next video